Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect to SQL Server in JavaScript. So let's start. First, we will create a new folder here. New folder connection and JS. I'll name this and now I'll double click on this to open it. And now in this window explorer, I'll type CMD and hit enter and it will open our CMD in this folder. Now I'll use npm install mssql and hit enter these are the driver for connecting to sql server so now you can see here added 74 packages in 17 seconds so i'll close this and now you can see here in our folder this node modules now i'll close this and now i'll open with studio code now i'll click on this file open folder and now i'll select this connection in js now i'll maximize this I'll close this welcome page and I will add a new JavaScript file. So I'll name this dbconfig.js. Hit enter. Now I'll use const config equals and curly braces and now I'll put semicolon at the end. Now I'll make some space here. So now first it takes a server here. So I'll use server and it takes our server name. So I'll copy server name from our SSMS. So if I click on this connect database engine. And this is our server name, so I'll copy it from here and now I'll control V it here. Now I'll put a comma, then it takes the database name. So database student db is our database. Let me show you this student db. If I go here and if I go to Windows Authentication and Connect, so if I expand this database tab, you can see this student db. And if I expand this, so we have the students table. Now if I right click on this and select up 1000 rows, so now you can see here we have these 10 records here. I will again go to Visual Studio Code and here I will use authentication and I will use your curly braces and inside this authentication it takes options and inside this option it takes the username and the password. So I'll use user name mik comma and password mik at the rate one two three four. This is a password for this SQL Server user. So now we are good to go. Now I'll put a comma here, hit enter, and here it takes options, curly braces, and inside this curly braces, it takes the trust server certificate. And now we will go out of this curly brace and we will use module dot exports equals one fig semicolon. And now our configuration file is created. So I'll control S this. Now we will create a new file app.js and hit enter. Now here we will include our driver and include this dbconfig file. So first we will use const sql equals require and we will use the driver ms sql semicolon and then const config equals require dot forward slash and db config and semicolon now here we will create a function async function connect and query remove this param so our function is created and inside this we will create our code so try and catch is created now we will write our code here first we will connect to the database so let pool equals await SQL dot connect and we will pass in the config here semicolon now we will use let result equals await pool dot request dot query and here we will pass in our query select steric from students table and I will put semicolon at the end and here I will use console dot log result dot record set and now i'll put semicolon at the end so now our code is complete so we will catch the error and show it here console dot log is comma json dot stringify and it takes the error comma l and comma two and now i'll put semicolon at the end so now here i will use the finally block and uh, close the connection so finally sql dot semicolon and now we will call connect and query 
here outside this curly braces. Our code is complete, so I'll control S it. And now let's run it and check if it is working. So if I right click on this and run code, so now you can see here all the 10 records are retrieved from the database and shown in a JSON format. So in this way, you can connect to SQL Server in JavaScript or Node.js and can retrieve data. So I think that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.